So you see here, I have a book. If I push on the book, well, the book is not moving, even if I push, I'm not pushing really hard, but I'm still pushing on the book, and it's not moving. The fact that it's not moving is because of friction. The force I apply and the force of friction oppose each other and are equal in magnitude. That's why the sum of forces is zero, the book is not moving. Therefore, the force of friction is equal to the force applied. But if I apply a force which is bigger, you saw the book just started to move. I'm in this situation where I just apply the force needed to start the book moving. In that case, the force of friction is equal to the uh, coefficient of static friction, which is actually due to the roughness of the surfaces here, and the weight of the book, which is expressed here by the normal force. If I push on the book, where the normal force increases, therefore, I need to apply more force to move the book, because the friction is bigger. Then, once I move the book, oh, it's all easy. It's difficult at the beginning, I can feel the resistance and then whoop, it becomes easier. This is because it's changed regimes. Now we arrive at, into a kinetic region where I applied enough force to move the book. And the force of friction is also proportional to the weight of the book or the normal force that I'm applying. Okay, something on it, but the coefficient of friction has changed. Now it's a kinetic coefficient of friction, which is usually a little smaller.